Hey everyone, welcome back to the Life of Amy June. Today I'm so excited because I get to share something I've been working on for months, my brand new digital planner for all my productivity lovers who prefer to keep things digital. If you've been here a while, you know I love my paper planners. I literally created my own, but I also know that a lot of people want the flexibility, convenience, and fun that comes with the digital version. That's why I designed this to be the perfect blend of structure and creativity. In this video, I'm going to show you how to upload this planner into GoodNotes, how to navigate it using clickable monthly tabs, the monthly setup, weekly breakdown, and daily schedule features, and my favorite tips to customize it so it works exactly the way you want it to. So whether you're brand new to digital planning or you've been at it for years, you're going to leave here ready to dive in and love every second of it. All right, let's start with the basics, getting your planner into GoodNotes. Once you've purchased your planner, you'll get a PDF download, and here's how to upload it. Download it to your iPad first, then open the PDF digital planner, and then click the share or up arrow and click open in GoodNotes, and there you have it. This takes less than a minute and you only have to do it once. Now you can open it at any time without needing internet connection. One of the coolest parts about this planner is the clickable monthly tabs. Across the right side, you'll see tabs for every month. Just tap January, February, and so on. But do make sure that you have the button at the top right that looks like a fencing tool, like on guard fence, and it takes you instantly to that month's dashboard. From here, you'll see a monthly overview, weekly, daily, and even a quick note section for anything you may need to jot down on the fly. This planner is very simple, straight to the point, not a lot of extra fluff similar to my printed planner. So these clickable tabs just make it so fast to move around and no endless scrolling. Since this is an undated planner that can be used for years to come, you will need to add the dates for each month in here. You can do it all at once or you can do it as you go throughout the months. When you set up your month, I do recommend starting with your big rocks, those non-negotiable events like work projects, school schedules, or even travel. If you are a visual person like me, this is a great time to grab a color highlighter and start color coding. The cool thing is, is it's all built into the iPad. You don't have to have any actual physical highlighters or colored pens or anything like that which of course if you watch my channel you do know i love those things as well however it's all right here easy and compact and ready to go so for instance i use yellow for personal teal for my mark my marketing agency a green for my son and Digital makes this so easy because you can change the colors instantly. You can start writing in colored pens, etc., which I'll show you later on in this video. Similar to my last video, but digital instead of paper in the Productivity Prism Planner, once your month is mapped out, I like to break it down weekly. The weekly spread lets you see all seven days at a glance. I love using this to plug in any type of reoccurring tasks like content creation days, workout days, or even meal prep. Here's a tip. I also use the weekly spread for habit tracking. You can add little check boxes to track your water intake, workouts, or even daily reading. Again, the beauty of digital planning is you can erase and redo things without worrying about messing up the pages. Oh, and don't let me forget the top pro 
priorities. This is a theme in my paper planner and in my digital planner in the weekly breakdown and the daily breakdown. I feel like it's super important to have top priorities, specifically three. This is not too overwhelming and I always recommend picking three things that if you get them done in a day, you will feel great about your day. This definitely helps keep you on track, helps you feel motivated, and also helps you feel accomplished. Now let's talk about my favorite part, the daily schedule. Each day runs from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. in this particular planner, perfect for early birds and night owls. There's space for, of course, your top three priorities, so you know what truly matters that day, one main focus, that's your non-negotiable task for the day, and time blocking. This is where I assign every hour a purpose. Time blocking is so powerful because it makes you intentional with your time. No more where did my day go moments because each hour, each half an hour is blocked out so you know exactly what you need to be doing at said time. And remember, if something changes, you can easily erase it, circle it and drag it to another time or rewrite it in seconds. If you'd like me to go into more depth on how to use a digital planner, please leave it in the comments below and I can do an even further in-depth tutorial for you. Here's where the fun comes in, customizing your planner. You can write in black ink and use a highlighter to make certain tasks pop. You can write in color to match your mood or theme, add digital stickers for holidays, events, or even motivational quotes. Take a screenshot of a page to share with an accountability partner. The possibilities are endless. I personally love highlighting entire blocks of time like you see here. Like if my morning is all about content creation, I'll make that block pink so I can instantly see See where my focus is or teal like here so that you can see that I'm working on marketing agency tasks. I get asked this all the time, which is better, paper or digital? And honestly, I use both. When I'm at my desk, I gravitate towards paper, but when I'm on the go, traveling, or want more flexibility, I use digital. For instance, real life situation in the summer, things tend to be a little bit more willy nilly and I tend to only use my Google Calendar. But then when things start to get more serious, like when school is back in session and I have lots of extra things, pick up, drop off, and sports that I need to organize, I tend to gravitate towards some type of structured planner. I love writing on paper. I love using colored pens. I love the feel of it. Comment below if you are the same way. However, I love the flexibility and Honestly, the digital planner is sometimes a little bit less stressful because if I make a mistake, I can easily erase it or I can move things around versus with paper, it's a little bit more permanent. So if you do need help with structure and not changing times on things and sticking to your plans, then paper I would recommend. Um, if you are a little more disciplined, then digital would be the way to go, especially if you are working in multiple locations outside of the home and things like that. But that is why I created both. So no matter your planning style, you've got an option that fits your life. So that's it, your complete walkthrough of the Productivity Prism Lux Marketing Digital Planner in GoodNotes. If you've been looking for a way to stay organized without losing creativity, this planner was designed for you. I'll leave the link below so you can grab yours today and start planning in style. I priced it very affordably at $14.99 and you can use it for years to come. So I hope that you found this video helpful. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more productivity tips, business tips, 
mom life, and more. Let me know in the comments. Are you team paper, team digital, or like me? A little bit of both. I'll see you all in the next video really soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye.